Welcome back. Problem 1-19. So, a statement is determined the resultant internal loading acting on the cross section through point C. Assume the reaction at support A and B are vertical. So, you can see this is a simply supported beam that is acted upon by two supports at point A and point B. And there is a uniformly decreasing load from A to D and then uniformly increasing load from D to B. So, we have to find the internal loading at point c means that you have to find nc vc and mc what are these so during uh, during solution i will show you so again it is given that assume the reaction at point a and c are vertical so if you remove this support so definitely there will be a reaction force that this is r a and at point b we have a vertical reaction force which is represented as r b so R A and R B are not known, so we will find them by using equilibrium condition. Now you can see there is a six feet, six kips per feet load, and that is uniformly decreasing load from this point till this point. And this is a rectangular area, so if we convert this into a point load, so this load will be equal to one over two six into this total length, which is six, and that will be acting at a length of L by 3 from this denser side clear so total length is 6 so L by 3 6 means uh, 6 by 3 means 2 feet so I will show you so what if we convert this point load so it will be 1 over 2 6 multiplied by the length 6 and that will be acting at a length of 2 feet from this end so remaining this distance will be equal to four feet same is the case here if you convert this uniformly increasing load from this point till point b so this will be equal to one over two into six multiplied by six this will convert into point load and that will acting at a distance of two feet from this side now we will find a uh, these unknown forces by using equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is sum of all moment about point b is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so first moment about point b is this load which is one over two six multiplied by six and perpendicular distance is two eight and that is producing counterclockwise moment that is positive so i will write it 1 over 2 into 6 multiplied by 6 and perpendicular distance is 2 8. The second moment that is produced by this load and perpendicular distance is 4 plus 6 which is equal to 10 feet and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be also positive. So plus 1 by 2 into 6 multiplied by 6 into perpendicular distance is 10. The third moment that is produced due to this R A and perpendicular distance is 10, 12 feet. Uh, it is 12 feet, and this is producing clockwise, so it will be negative. So I will write minus R A into 12 is equal to zero. So again, this will give you 36 plus 36 minus 12 r a is equal to 0 so 72 minus 12 r a is equal to 0 so r a is equal to 72 divided by 12 okay okay one mistake i have made here is that this is uh, not 72 this is this is not 72 this value this is uh, 6 6 36 into 10 360 this is 180 so again this will be equal to 6 uh, 11 216 okay so r a will be equal to 216 divided by 12 so if i divide 216 by 12 
so 12 1 12 and here we will have 8 uh, 1 11 this is 9 6 12 are 96 okay so our a will be equal to 18 kip now you can find rb by using this equilibrium condition that sum of all forces in y direction and force upward taken as positive so ra which is 18 minus this load 1 over 2 into 6 multiply by 6 minus 1 over 2 again this load 6 multiply by 6 plus rb is equal to 0 so 18 minus uh, 36 divided by 2 is 18 minus 18 plus rb is equal to 0 so from here this will cut with this so rb is equal to also 18 okay now you have both ra and rb so you can cut this beam at c so and draw the free body diagram so if i cut the beam at point c and draw the free body diagram here we will be having r a which is equal to 18 caps and you can see we have a uniformly increasing load and that will be acting at point c will be like this so when you cut it so you will be having a reaction force horizontally that is represented as nc you will be having a shear force that is represented as VC and you will be having a moment, reaction moment that it is MC. Okay, now you can see this is 6 k per feet. So what if I divide it into this length is 3 feet till point C. So this is 3 feet. So again, you can see at this point, this, this will be represented as uniformly distributed load and its magnitude will be equal to 3 kip per feet and here you will now have this is 3 so again this will also a 3 kips per feet but that is uniformly decreasing load okay so what we will do is that if you convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load so it will be equal to 3 into length which is 3 and that will be acting at half of 3 which is 3 by 2 and that is 1.5 feet now if you convert this uniformly decreasing load into point load so it will be equal to 1 over 2 3 multiplied by 3 and that will be acting or L by 3 from this denser side there so L by 3 is 3 by 3 which is equal to 1 feet now we'll apply equilibrium condition that sum of all uh, forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see you have only one force which is NC and there is no other force so it means that nc is equal to zero similarly you will apply the second equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward forces taken as positive so one force is plus 18 the second force is minus 1 over 2 into 3 by 3 and the third force is 3 into 3 there sum and the fourth one is vc their sum must be equal to zero so i will write one by one 18 minus 1 over 2 into 3 multiplied by 3 minus 3 into 3 minus vc is equal to zero so from here you will get this vc which is the shear vertical shear force at point c comes out to be 4.50 Okay. now we will find this moment by using sum of all moment about point c must be equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so first moment is uh, this one which is you can see mc and that is 
counterclockwise so it will be positive so i will write mc the second moment will be due to this force which is 3 multiplied by 3 and perpendicular distance is 1.5 and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so plus 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1.5 the other moment will be due to this load and perpendicular distance is 2 feet and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be also positive so i will write plus 1 over 2 into 3 multiplied by 3 and perpendicular distance is 2 the last moment is due to this 18 kips load and perpendicular distance is 3 feet and that is producing clockwise so it will be negative so minus 18 into 3 is equal to 0 so from here when you calculate it you will get mc will be equal to 31.5 kips into feet so in this way we have find the internal loading that is nc vertical shear force and there is movement at point c and these are the answers of our problem 1-19 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from this those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching